it's uh, heading into your first opening day start, uh, start on the NFL. Any different feelings, any different emotions uh, heading out on that, that field compared to last year when you came in in the middle of it all? Um, I guess more comfortable, I guess, uh, knowing that I'm a starter and, you know, this is kind of the way you want to start and get it off to the right start. But, um, I mean, I feel comfortable. I feel confident. Um, you know, we'll just see how this first game goes. I mean, you know, it's a great challenge. We've been, all our preparation has gone to this game and uh, starting <coughs> fast. So I feel pretty comfortable. What's the biggest difference you sense uh, within yourself now as opposed to coming out of training camp last year? I think, uh, you know, more, you know, better decision making in my process. I mean, I think I cleaned that up from last year, uh, making a little bit better decisions, uh, seeing the defense a lot clearer, and just understanding our offense and what we're trying to get done and uh, where to put the ball in, pl in different places. How important is getting off the season a quick start for this one? Oh, no, I don't want to know. Oh, it's very important because all these games mean something. I mean, uh, in the last couple of years in September, we haven't been very good. And, you know, those can make the difference in making the playoffs towards the end. So, Starting fast for us is a, a big plus, and uh, you know it's going to get us off, you know, go, going into the season knowing that we have confidence in ourselves and we can execute the right way. Chad, you guys have had a lot of uh, new faces come through here. Uh, you could be changing kick returner, cornerback, linebacker, Parcells yesterday giving up <coughs> day, day to day control. Is is there a feeling of stability, a feeling of upheaval? How, how do you feel going into this first week, this first game? I mean, I, I think we feel good. I mean, offensively, I think we have the, guy, the right guys in the places uh, that are going to be out there on the field on Sunday. Um, you know, we can't worry about what the organization is doing, bringing new players in and out. Uh, we just have to focus on our game plan. And, uh, you know, the biggest thing is winning on Sunday. And uh, that's, that's our main goal. And uh, that's what we need to, you know, focus in on. Chad, Chris uh, mentioned Parcells. You're a Parcells draft pick. Are you surprised at what happened yesterday? Um, I mean... I'm not up there, and uh, I don't have any control of that. But um, you know, it's it is what it is, and uh, we move on as an organization, whether he's here or not. And uh, you know, we're just worried about winning on this Sunday, and uh, we're worrying about how we're going to execute. Did you feel his presence day to day? Um, at times, I mean, uh, he's in and out of practice and watching it, obviously. But you know, more importantly, you know, it's Coach Ronald's team. Uh, he, Coach uh, Parcells, overlooks everything, and. You know, Coach Ronald's with us every day, so this is his team. But as the man who puts it together, Parcells is ultimately responsible for putting it together. Is there anything unsettling about this? No, not at all. I think, uh, you know, our leaders, Coach Ronald, we believe in him, and uh, that's where we're going to stick our heads to. Uh, you know, we just got to worry about what we have to accomplish, you know, through our leader and Coach Ronald. And where, where are you and Brandon at right now, do you feel, uh, in terms of the connection that you guys are going to make out there on the field? Well, I mean, obviously, you know, there still needs to be work done, but uh, I feel confident in knowing where he's going to be in places and how he's going to run the routes. And uh, it's tough because we have a lot of opportunities in the preseason to get him the ball. And, uh, you know, I don't, I'm not sure what Buffalo's going to do. If they're going to double cover him, then, you know, we're just going to have to find ways to get around it and uh, find other receivers. But, you know, when that time happens and he's open, we need to connect. Do you like the makeup of this receiving core now? Uh, the, the three, obviously, Brandon, Devon, and Brian, and then... Roberto and Marlon? Yeah, definitely. I think everybody's improved. Uh, they've gotten a lot better each and every day, and I feel comfortable with all of them out there running the right routes and uh, me throwing the ball. What's your impression of the Buffalo defense? Well, obviously they're secondary. I mean, they're a veteran group in the secondary. Uh, I think they've made a lot of plays out there. And, uh, you know, George Edwards coming here uh, from here last year, um, you know, he's. I think he's more of a pressure defense up there. He's going to try to create pressure. And he's got one of those Mike linebackers that makes plays all the time. So we just got to be aware, put a hat on him. And uh, if Bird plays, you know, he's a ball hawk. So he had nine interceptions last year and you got to know where he's at in, in all places. Chad, as far as you guys' tight end position, do you have to kind of scale it back a little bit with, with now Bone as the second guy, a relatively inexperienced guy, as opposed to a David Martin? Well, I mean, the uh, coaching staff has made their plan, and, you know, if they're both in there, we go two tight ends. You know, we believe in John. I think he's shown a lot in the preseason. He can block, and, uh, you know, the last preseason game, he had a good catch there. And, you know, we feel comfortable with both tight ends in there and uh, getting them the ball. How much uh, confidence does this running game give you as a quarterback? I mean, that's the one thing that's stayed the same from last year, Ronnie, with you losing that whole year. Oh, I mean, it's been great. I mean, obviously, we want to be a balanced offense. We could, just can't line up and run because they're going to bring guys in the box. And, um, you know, I think our offensive line has done a great job blocking for them. And, you know, Ronnie, Ricky, and 
uh, Lou out there running hard. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. If, you know, they allow us to run the ball, we'll run the ball. If not, we'll, we'll throw the ball. Ronnie and Ricky underrated as receivers out of the backfield? Definitely. I mean, you, you get the ball. To, I mean, they're they're the best athletes with the ball in their hands on our offense. And if you get the ball to them in space, that's what they do. They run with the football. So uh, any check downs, uh, if they cover things deep and we check it down, I mean, we feel absolutely confident that they're, they're, they're going to get some big plays out of it. They're the best athletes ahead of uh, Well, I mean, I just think, you know, running the football. I mean, you get the ball, that's what they're paid to do. They run with the football, and if they catch it, they're running with the football again. So, uh, I mean, that, that's what they're paid to do, and they're pretty darn good at it. What did you take from last year at Buffalo? That was a tough one all around, but was probably your toughest. Uh, how much did that help you in the growth process? Yeah, it was tough. You know, I thought we started fast uh, in that game. You know, we had an early turnover with um, in the red zone. But uh, other than that, I thought we were executing at a point. Uh, in the second half, we definitely went downhill. You know, had some turnovers there. And uh, that's what we have to do against this defense. They feed off of turnovers. And we need to protect the ball, uh, be smart with the ball and where we're going to go with it. And uh, just we just have to keep executing our game plan. On the flip side, do you go back and look at the, the Buffalo game here, which was your first... NFL start to, to see what you take out of that game? Uh, not so much. I mean, I think be, just because of the different uh, defensive coordinator there, so it's going to be a different defense, even though it's the same players in place. Um, you know, you kind of look at what they're doing in preseason more than anything. Chad, I, I don't know Jake Long's status, but as a quarterback, are, are you aware of who's out there blocking for you? I, I mean, are you aware that you've got this Pro Bowl wall, Jake Long there, or does that go through your mind during a play? Definitely. I mean, I... I you know, I played with him for four years in Michigan and now here. And I, I know I'm going to be protect, protected backside, and he's going to do what he's coached to do and do a good job. So I feel definitely confident in his ability back there.